All right. Good morning, everyone. This is Philly Financial Coach, and I am just doing a quick video on how to fill out the life insurance needs analysis form. So a question that many people ask, not enough people ask, is how much life insurance do I need? Some people just come up with a random amount, a random number, thinking that'll be enough, 100000 200000 a million dollars, instead of just calculating or doing the right calculations to see how much they need and to make sure they have the right amount. So it's important to make sure you have the right amount of coverage to protect you and your family. You don't want to be underinsured, and, and, and there is a such thing as being overinsured, all right? So the example that I'm going to use for you guys really quickly today, what we're going to do is we're going to fill out the debt obligations, which consists of like the mortgage, credit cards, car loans, student loans, final expenses. Um, if you want to add any miscellaneous things in there, such as like your guilty pleasures, like, you know, Uber Eats and Netflix and, you know, all those other subscriptions, you can do that as well. But these are primarily the most important debt obligations that we use. The second thing we're going to fill out is the replacement income. And we're going to go through how much um, income would your family need if you were to die today uh, versus the amount of income that you have currently coming in and how many years that income is going to be needed to replace to, needed to be replaced. The last thing we're going to fill out is the available assets, which consist of the savings, investments, retirement assets, existing life insurance, and other income. And then we're going to move on from there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the example of a young lady that I sat with. Okay, and her mortgage, she still owed 300000 Okay, I'm going to move that up a little bit. And her credit cards, her credit card debt was 3000 Let's move that down. Let's move this over. Or not. Sometimes this gets just a little bit frustrating. So we're just going to leave it where it is. Next, we're going to do the car loan. And in this example, she still owed 10000 on her car loan. Next, we're going to do the student loans. She still owed 40000 on her student loans. And the average funeral expense, final expense, is 15000 So we're going to put that there. All right. Now, the sum of all of her debt... It's going to come up to be, let's get the calculator out. And we're going to add up 300,000. Plus the 3,000, which is going to be 303,000. Plus the 10,000 is going to be 313,000. Plus the 40,000 is going to put us at 353,000. Whoops, let's back that up a little bit. And then plus the final expense, 15,000. Okay, so our total uh, debt. is going to be 368,000. Okay. All right. Now we're going to move over to the replacement income. All right. She makes about four thousand a month, so that puts her at forty-eight thousand a year. And let's say that her family will need 75% of that annual income in order to 
maintain the same quality of life that she provided. So we're going to multiply the 48,000 times 75%. And that's going to be 36,000. Okay. All right. And y'all have to forgive me because I am very anal about, you know, things being in a space. <laughs> um, so the number of years that we're going to, now you can do this one of two ways. You can either do the times 10 rule, which is taking the uh, percentage of income that's needed and multi multiplying it by 10 so that the goal would be for that money to stretch for a span of 10 years. Or you can multiply it by, you can take your youngest child's age and multiply it by the number of years it would take for that child to reach the age of 22. So in this instance, the young lady's youngest child was eight years old, which means she needed this income to last 14 years. Okay, so we're going to put 14 here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to take the income replacement, the percentage of income to replace, and multiply that by the number of years that income needs to be replaced, okay? And that's going to be 36,000 times 14. 36,000. Whoops, back that up a little bit. Times 14. All right, so that's going to be 504000 So this is the income that's going to be needed. This is how much um, income is going to be needed to last for 14 years, to stretch out 14 years. 504000 a little over half a million. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to move over to the available assets, okay? And in her savings, she was able to save 35000 Okay? And in her investment account, her 401k, she had about 15000 Okay? She had no retirement account. She had no existing life insurance. She had no other income, okay? So her savings, her total savings is going to be at 50000 And let's move that up a little bit. Move it up and over. Same thing with this. Move it over. All right? Now, as you can see before we even finish out this um, this form, is that her available assets, if she were to die today, if this young lady in this example were to die today, immediately 15000 would be snatched to cover the final expenses. So she would only have 35000 to take care of her family. Okay, and this is the reason why it's important to have life insurance, because when you look at the sum of all of her debt and obligations, even if you only focused on the mortgage and the car loans, um, the two most important um, obligations, that 35000 is not going to get you very far. Okay, keep in mind that the monthly mortgage is, you know, $1,200. So $1,200, you multiply that by 12, that's, you know definitely more than um, 35,000. You figure 1,200 times 12, that's a little over 14,000. So they may only be able to survive just paying the mortgage. They would only be able to survive maybe two years, two and a half years, okay? And the goal is to get the eight-year-old to the age of 22. So to figure out what the life insurance gap is, what we're going to do is we're going to take A, the debt obligations, add it with B, the replacement income, 
and subtract C, the available assets, okay? So we're going to take 368,000. 368,000 and we're going to add it to 504,000 and then we're going to subtract 50,000 okay so the insurance and excuse that let me this is where we want to be right here we don't want to subtract it twice um so the insurance gap is going to be 822,000. the life insurance gap so what i would recommend for this young lady is to get a million in life insurance because you want to make sure that this is taken care of without affecting this, okay? You want to make sure that, um, well, without affecting this too much, you want to make sure that the debt is taken care of. There's still, you know, a, a, the same standard of living, the same quality of living that this individual was providing for her family. You want to make sure that it's still there. So there isn't, you know, struggling, uh, too much struggling when a person passes away. You know, you have bills to pay. There's no sense in grieving emotionally and grieving financially if you don't have to. So if you have any questions or concerns about filling out this life insurance needs analysis form, you can give me a call at 917-409-7308. Or you can visit my website, uh, www.phillyfinancialcoach.com and fill out uh, a form for an appointment. Okay? I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.